this is not my group proposal. The title of my publication will be, I don't really have a decision right now, but I know like around like what what I want it to be. I have like few options like Désiré, Elegant, and the Club. The reason why I decided to choose this is because A, my genre is R and B and every time you think about R and B, you usually think about stuff being ratchet um, or cheap in a way. But I really wanted the overview of my magazine to, to be elegant as well, to be quite elegant and to represent the beautiful real meaning of R&B. Um, yeah. The, the regular features. One of the features in my magazine will be like musical events, um, concerts, award ceremonies. The regular features, um, sorry, I want this regular feature because I want my readers to feel like they can rely on my magazine to know the latest news, the latest ceremonies and the latest things that are going to happen. Um, the next feature that, that will be included in my magazine will be a competition se uh, section. The reason, why I'll co um, the reason why I will have a, competi uh, a competition section is because, uh, because I want the readers to feel like they can get something out of my magazine so they can benefit from that. Another regular feature I, um, I chose is because I feel like I feel like I want my um, my readers to be like involved, like and feel a part of the magazine. So I chose um, this is the inspiration from the magazine Koran, where readers could actually review concert ceremonies or like any or festivals, and it will be included within the feature. Um, the last and obvious regular feature in the magazine will be advertisements. The type of advertisements will that will be in my magazine will, will be products that products that sell musical products that will sorry products that um yeah like for example headphones so musical products so it's relevant it has relevance to the magazine so concerts that will be included will like I do not want my magazine to be strictly music I wanted to like be very, like to have various section, very sections. For example, fashion, because we all know R and B and fashion have a, a slight of connection. Like I got this, I actually got this infor, um, inspiration from the Billboard magazine because I realized that they do have a lot of readers, but it's the fact because they have like different, like they have different various or section like of contents, like different music. It's not strictly R and R and B. It's like sometimes Latina, rock, which which that's where they make profit because of different types of people that, that have a different type of fan base that will read the magazine. So my one will be fashion and music. Mm. Um, and I also feel like by doing this I will, I will gain a lot of profit and recognition for this. And the specific features that will be included in my magazine will be um, like obviously there's fashion like what's hot, what's not. And that will be like a music, a music section that also includes the life story and how like famous artists have become successful and what the struggles they have to go through or go through, all the struggling they're going through now. Um, I'm right now, um, the language that will be used in my magazine will be in form of what appropriate. Like I don't want, like I'm not going to use swear words or anything that will. Or anything that's like to come, that comes across too strong because I know that um, the average age of readers will probably be 16 to 39. And as I said, because I wanted my magazine to come across as prestige, like a musical version of it, I wouldn't want to put any type of swear inside. But like it will be a bit chatty, but not too chatty. Um, the average age, so why I think it will be 16 and 39, is because it's during that point, um, it's during that is during the point of age where people are discovering themselves and discovering what they like and you know and the likes and dislikes and what they're passionate about and they tend to be more passionate about things that like between those ages um, the technique of writing that will be used will be informative um, 
for like it'll be provocative, like thought, prov thought provocative. So like it will it stimulate the reader's thinking. Also as well, um, I want it to be friendly. I don't want it to be like that come across too scary or too serious because it'll, it'll come across as boring. Yeah. The color scheme. Um, the color scheme for the magazine will be this black, it will be black, and it will be like rich gold and white. The reason why I chose gold firstly is because gold represents riches and it represents um, the wealth, the wealth of like the music industry, the wealth of, the wealth of my magazine in, in terms of, you know, we have wealth in information, we have, you know, in, a, in fashion and music. And black and white is because the classical is like a classical colour, it's classic. And it, it's like a prestige colour as well. The publisher. The publisher that we have is Dennis. Um, Dennis Publisher Publishing, sorry. Um, they publish a lot of famous brands, Men Fit, like for example, Men Fitness magazine. And when I was looking at what they're publishing, I did not see a music magazine meaning there's a gap in the market for, for my magazine to grow within and also as well they I feel like the publishing will make my magazine more famous because they specialise um, in my, uh, obviously in publishing magazines but via the internet as well so with the technology so doing it in a unique way so it could attract, um, attract different types of readers. Um, what will make my um, my R and B magazine unique? Like, yeah. What I think will make my magazine unique is the fact that it change it, it will change how people perceive R and B overall because the magazine will have a more sophisticated look for R and B. Um, the magazine has um, the magazine will have a better connection with audience audiences because when I look like in other R and like music mag R and B magazines, I don't really see like. For example, my idea of having um, the old, my own readers going and writing reviews on either music, musical events, or music overall. Um, yeah. Unlike other magazines, uh, my magazine will represent men and women both equally because what they tend to do in R&B magazine, they tend to sexualize um, women more to to grab the men's attention and, and for me personally I feel like right. is that because these are sex symbols but for me but I want to attract both sex both sexes to my magazine so I would not I would not discriminate between them. Um, and this uh, my, the R&B magazine will also consist um, of, of the history of R and B and how it makes people feel emotionally and physically like <laughs> like the vibes of the music. Yeah. Next slide. <laughs> this is the black fan of my magazine. My magazine will have like 50 pages. Um, though, as I can look at it, this is like the front cover. This will be the contents page, but there'll be an advert before the contents page. Um, yeah. This is the, uh, yeah, this is the competition section. And yeah. That's it. <laughs> Cheat or cheap, but it's not. So that's why I'm going to present it in this way. 
Oh, you yeah, and your name, you said that um, you want your name to, it has kind of like a French kind of sound to it. Um, do you think that will kind of represent the R&B genre or do you think that's, because in my head I, I kind of see um, a lifestyle magazine attached to those names because of how it sounds. So how do you think your titles are going to represent the actual content of the magazine? Because R&B, to be honest, it is elegant in a way. The way they, if you think about a good R&B song, they are elegant. So that's how I feel like they connect. Um, what was, what's the price going to be for it and how often is it going to be distributed? It's going to be a monthly magazine and it will be around two ninety nine. Yeah, so it'll be accessible for all ages. You said the uh, target audience is from 16 to 39. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to keep like, the older audience and the younger ones? What would you do? If you think about it, at the age of 16 already, I realised that we have a mental mind, but sorry, <laughs> we're mentally strong. <laughs> but, um, we tend to want to, we tend to be grow up, growing up in our heads, and we tend to be more passionate about stuff. So I do feel like it will appeal either way because these ages are kind of similar. But you're still discovering who you are as a person and what you like. Yeah. There you go.